Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Tanks are used in almost all armed conflicts, but how are they delivered there? After all, it is clear that tanks cannot cover huge distances on their own. For this, special trains or airplanes are used. However, the most popular means of transport for them is precisely heavy trucks, or as they are also called, tank transporters, because they can deliver equipment to almost any place. And today, we will show you the 10 best tank transporters in the world. SLT-50 Elephant The SLT-50 is a heavy-duty tractor unit and tank transporter used by the German Army and Polish Army. The SLT-50 Elephant is a high-mobility vehicle. It was specially developed for demanding all-terrain applications. It was used in conjunction with a Kassebauer four-axle semi-trailer, which could carry a maximum load of 52 tons. The SL-252 was powered by a 30-liter Mercedes-Benz MB837 EA500 turbocharged diesel engine, producing 730 horsepower. On a modernized SLT-53 version, the engine was replaced by a Dutz unit. The engine is coupled to a ZF gearbox with four forward and two reverse gears. Tatra T816 The Tatra T816 Prime Mover was developed in 1997. It is based on the T816 LIWA 8x8 high mobility truck. It is designed to haul semi trailers transporting tanks and other heavy vehicles or construction equipment up to a maximum weight of 74 tons both on road and rugged terrain. This Prime Mover has 8x8 drive configuration. It features exceptional mobility and robustness. This vehicle was designed to operate in extreme temperatures with high air humidity and dusty environments. The vehicle is powered by a German MTU 12V183 TD22 turbocharged diesel engine, producing 800 horsepower. This prime mover is fitted with a fully automatic 10-speed transmission. The vehicle is equipped with two loading winches, as well as an auxiliary winch. MAN HX81 The HX81 tank transporter was jointly developed by MAN and Rheinmetall. It evolved from the MAN HX77 and SX45 heavy high mobility trucks. The MAN HX81 is used by the German Army, where it is known as the SL2 Mammut. The German Army purchased 12 of these vehicles to replace the old Faun SLT50 Elephant. The main role of this prime mover is to tow semi-trailers with main battle tanks, self-propelled artillery systems, construction materials, and other heavy military loads to the front line and over long distances. It can tow various trailers with a useful load of 73 tons. Gross combination weight is 130 tons. The vehicle is powered by a MAN D2868 turbocharged diesel engine, producing 680 horsepower. The engine is mated to a ZF 12-speed automatic transmission. The vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. DAF Tropco The DAF Tropco heavy equipment transporter was developed to meet the requirements of the Dutch Ministry of Defense. It is a tractor-trailer combination, which is used to transport Dutch Leopard 2 main battle tanks and PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers. The DAF Tropco is currently in service with the Royal Netherlands Army. The Canadian Army leased some of the Dutch tank transporters in 2007 for use in Afghanistan. The DAF Tropco tank transporters are available with two engine variants. The more powerful version develops 530 horsepower and has a maximum payload capacity of 65,000 kilograms. The less powerful 480 horsepower version has a maximum payload capacity of 40,000 kilograms. Kamaz 65225 
The Kamaz 65-225 is a Russian military tank transporter. It was developed as a private venture and is based on Kamaz 65-22 truck. The Kamaz 65-225 was adopted by the Russian Armed Forces. The design of this military truck is simple and robust. It is used in conjunction with a three-axle semi-trailer. This vehicle can haul various loads with a maximum weight of 50,000 kilograms over long distances. This tractor truck is powered by Kamaz turbocharged diesel engine, developing 360 horsepower. Also, there is a version of this truck powered by a 400 horsepower engine. The engine is mated to an automatic transmission. The vehicle has a 6x6 configuration with all-wheel drive. Maz 537 The design of the Maz 537 series began during the early 1960s to produce a heavy load carrier and construction vehicle for use in remote areas. It is a further development of the Maz 535 8x8 artillery tractor. Production of the Maz 537 commenced in 1963 and it was first observed in 1964. Despite its age, this heavy military vehicle is still in service with a number of countries, including Russia. The Maz 537 tank transporter can tow semi-trailers with medium and main battle tanks with a maximum weight of 50,000 kilograms both on roads and rugged terrain. It is still capable of towing any MBT currently in service with the Russian army. The Maz 537 is powered by a standard tank engine, developing 525 horsepower. The vehicle has a full-time all-wheel drive. A central tire inflation system is fitted to provide better traction over sand and soft ground. BMC Tugra 8x8 Recently, a new tank transporter emerged in Turkey. It was developed by BMC in order to meet requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces. So far, it is the largest vehicle in the BMC line of military trucks. It was first publicly revealed in 2019. Recently, a total of 72 of these tank transporters were delivered to the Turkish military. This new tank transporter is used in conjunction with a six-axle trailer. It can transport main battle tanks such as the M60T, Leopard 2, as well as the latest Turkish Altay. This 8x8 vehicle can carry other loads with a maximum weight of up to 70 tons. The vehicle is fitted with a diesel engine, developing 620 horsepower. The prime mover is fitted with a front-mounted winch. Also, there are loading winches behind the cab. Skamel Commander The Skamel Commander heavy tank transporter had its origins in a British Army requirement that envisioned main battle tanks weighing well over 60 tons. It was originally developed to replace the old Thornycroft Antars tank transporters. The British Army used it to tow Challenger 1 and Challenger 2 main battle tanks. Designed to tow loads up to 65 tons, the Commander tows a special semi-trailer onto which tanks can be tail-loaded using a hydraulic 20-ton capacity winch. A prominent bonnet houses the vehicle's Perkins V12 turbocharged diesel, similar to that used on the Challenger 1 main battle tank, which is coupled to an Allison automatic transmission incorporating a torque converter. M1070A1 The HET A1 heavy equipment transporter was developed by Oshkosh. Its U.S. Army designation is the M1070A1. The U.S. Army has ordered more than 1,400 new tank transporters. These new machines will replace the original M1070 HET tractor trucks that are now over 20 years old. The M1070A1 is a purpose-designed heavy-duty military vehicle. It is used in conjunction with a M1000 semi-trailer and is designed to transport the M1A1 and M1A2 Abrams main battle tanks. 
The M1070A1 is powered by an 18.1 liter Caterpillar C18 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 700 horsepower. The vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. There are two winches with 25 ton capacity each. There is also an auxiliary winch. MZKT741351 The Belarusian MZKT741351 prime mover and associated trailers were specially developed to meet requirements of the United Arab Emirates. A pre-production prototype was first publicly revealed in 2016. The unique feature of the MZKT741351 prime mover is that it is used in conjunction with two trailers. These include a six-axle semi-trailer, which has a payload capacity of 76,000 kilograms, and a six-axle trailer, which has a payload capacity of 60,000 kilograms. Combined hauled load capacity for this road train is a whopping 136,000 kilograms. So, this vehicle can transport two Leclerc main battle tanks and one infantry fighting vehicle at once. The vehicle is powered by a Caterpillar C18 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 812 horsepower. It is mated to an Allison electronically controlled automatic gearbox. The vehicle has a full-time all-wheel drive. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the tank transporters you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.